Hello everyone, this is Reese Gibson from QTE Manufacturing, your local Mastercam reseller. Here again with another tech tip. Today we're going to talk about Dynamic X Form. Dynamic X Form basically translates geometry into different views, different orientations. It's a very, very powerful tool. Uh, I'm just going to go over some basics here. Um, you can either throw a coordinate system up on a face like right here and not translate the part or some shops some companies like to translate the geometry to the top plane which is we all know is gospel as master cam's view for a vmc it really makes no difference depends on the company culture so let's get into it i'm a pre-select person so i'm going to pre-select my geometry before I go into my my function that way I don't have to hit the done button okay basically a gnome a floating gnomon pulls up um, I recommend that you anchor the floating gnomon on a 90 degree corner now I'm not pressing down on the left mouse button or anything basically this is floating and I'm going to go anchor it to a corner which is of any any place you can anchor it to a end of a line the end of a end of a solid edge center of an arc center and I'm going to plant it and let it snap. See how it snaps to that? And then I left click once to anchor it. Okay. Now there's also a floating icon here. This toggles the actual functionality of this. If you left click this once it says do you want to manipulate the gnomon. If you left click it again it toggles back let's manipulate geometry meaning we're going to move geometry. In a sense, basically, you click the, click the gnomon part, and it lets you orientate. You define the axis combination you like on the part. Then you basically click a few buttons, and it translates to, to Mastercam's top view. It's working coordinate system. Now, depending on where you pick on this gnomon, and if the 2D, 3D setting is set, basically, you, if you click right here, anywhere on these arms, okay, if you left click once, you're going to rotate the axis about another axis. Okay. Now you can you can actually align things off of another axis. Okay. One lets you type in, one lets you actually snap, depending if you pick in the center, on the back. These these three arm pieces make a big difference. Okay. Now once you get an orientation you can actually pick the shaft right here and you can slide it. Okay. And rotating it around. Now this is where the 2D 3D switch comes in. Okay. If I grab my arm right here I'm going to swing my x-axis about the Z now. Well, in the 3D mode, I can tilt my Z down. Basically, any axis combination is possible. See, I can tilt Z down, X, X following whatever in the 3D world. Okay. Now, if I go to my 2D, 3D switch, which is right down here in the middle of the command, click my 2D. Well, if I basically, if I click on something that is not on the same plane, it projects it to that plane. See the red line? Now I'm just going to go align this part with an endpoint. So it lets you use different pieces of geometry to create your, your coordinate system here. Now if you right now origin will be at the ball. If you don't want the origin at the ball, you left click the ball one time and you can relocate it at the center of an arc, at the end of this in this corner. Again, you can do the 2D, 3D switch in the middle of this command. I can make origin down here, I can make origin up here, I can place origin anywhere I want. Midpoint, temporary point. I'm going to choose this portion right there. Now once you get your axis combination the way you want X to run, Y run, Z, Z axis to be 
towards the tool holder. It's time to manipulate geometry now. Now by left clicking this floating icon, I go over here in a couple clicks, align it with Master Cam's world coordinate system and Master Cam's origin. Now when I do a right click and isometric, my part is in the top view, origin is at the corner that I picked. Very powerful tool. This segment here just showed how to realign a part. You can also copy and translate. People do that instead of using the translate function. Thanks for watching.